Cancer. Hello, how are you, beautiful soul? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading. So if it does resonate, like, share and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will absolutely love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit, particularly in the niche of business. He is a business genius. You will absolutely love him. His information is going to be down below. Um, but without further ado, Cancer, let's dive right in and see what Spirit has for you. So we have the Six of Cups, the Page of Swords, Five of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. So right now it's important to know that look right now you're going through a transformation you're going through some healing so face looking into the past facing a bit of nostalgia you know it it, it comes with the territory but look at as long as we are capitalizing on the good ideas that are coming forward for us we are always going to be okay because any idea that comes with a spark of inspiration is always the action steps that need to be taken utilize the people around you and the experiences around you to boost you lift you up a lot of the times we can um look at the p individuals around us and want to feel the need to compare ourselves but don't compare yourself utilize them to help empower you wow if they're doing it it means i could do it too right what have they done that works what have, what have they done that will that that i can use because this will help progress you this will help bring you that determination that grit that resilience that you need right now if you look at a situation and compare yourself, you will be depleting your energy because comparing is a very uh, uh, exact opposite of dog love, right? Because when we're comparing, we're basically saying we're not good enough. You know what I mean? We're judging. We're uh, it's an ego perspective, right? The ego is very separate, and there's no should be no judgment. Whenever we're in a judging perspective, again, there's always a reflection. That's always a reflection on us, something we don't like about ourselves that that person is mirroring back to us. So be aware of it because it isn't opportunity to heal for you cancer but from what i can see here there is going to be some significant um change in your life and this change is going to reflect from the action you take from this ins inspiration these ideas that are going to come forward again remember you only have the control over you so utilize that right that is your power is that you can rely on you and when we don't feel like we can rely on ourselves it's because we're not challenging ourselves enough to feel like we can trust ourselves so take initiative in that department it means do things that you wouldn't normally do or do things that challenge you for instance every day after i'm finished my dinner i always go outside for a walk now this is probably the last thing i want to do i've just been filming all day you know providing personal reads providing uh, uh tarot reads i've already exercised i've already had a full morning out with doing my creative projects you know by the time it, 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 the evening rolls around it's like the last thing i want to do honestly i would love to just sit in bed and watch youtube videos but i know that my spirit would not be happy if i did that trust me because i've tried before and the next day it it always how you plan the day is how you is is the, starts in the night before you know that every time you have a good evening have a nice evening routine it always reflects into the next day everything flows it's energy right it, it, we cannot it cannot be created or destroyed it's always moved and the more that we um start to plan our days it if we start to plan them from the night before we're in a good boat so for me it my night starts or my day starts the night before with going for my walk coming home having a shower and then uh and then going to sleep after being out it's like like amazing you feel so good but I never want to do it I never want to actually leave my house um, after uh, you know I have my dinner so this is something that challenges me but I it's always beneficial for my spirit and I always get rewards from it this is sort of that same energy is make sure that you are challenging yourself cancer so that you know you know what's good for you yes it's a challenge but it's good for you it's like having a cold shower it's so good for you but my goodness is it ever a challenge yep but you know what the trick is put it really hot first almost like burn your skin and then put it really cold works great all right so understand that right now you are being again guided towards a new beginning here the ace of cups this new beginning is something that's going to bring you a lot of strength and a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of sense of adventure is what i just heard now 
understand that this new beginning is really going to push things along very quickly for you in your life. Okay. With this tower card, whenever the tower card shows up, it's sort of like significant that things are going to be moving along pretty quick here and significant changes are going to be happening. Make sure when these changes happen and, and you know, things get moving here, you don't betray your spirit. Just like how I always go for my evening walk, even when I don't want to, because I don't want to betray my spirit. Because if I do that, I'm going to feel even worse. I'm going to feel guilty. I'm going to feel shame. And then I might do something even worse. You know what I mean? So don't betray your spirit. Always listen to what your spirit wants. Always go with what's best for you. A lot of the times we don't know why things are happening or how things are happening. We only know what's good for, going to be good for us. And we just got to follow what's going to be good for us because that's always what's going to guide us to the celebratory environment that we want to be in okay um, but understand with the magician card it's remembering you must capitalize on the fact that you are more of a spiritual being than you are a physical being, which means that it's important to harness in that beautiful power of intuition of yours, because that is your psychic ability. And again, in order to be able to do that, we have to trust ourselves. So challenge yourself, Cancer, as much as you possibly can, because again, life is going to be speeding up for you, just validated by antelope spirit here. So you're going to want to be very familiar with what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Otherwise, on an energetic level, you may get lost in the speed of how life is going to go and then may reflect back to old programs, which may reflect back to old, um, old patterns. Okay. Which is going to make you feel like you just took one step forward and two steps back. Right? So we want to make sure that we're really in alignment with our higher self, with our intuition. Cause at the end of the day, you are in a place where you are building a solid foundation. And right now it's more important for you to know what works for you and what does not. Right? Again, if we don't have fundamentals, values, systems put in place so that we get the best results, then we are going to fall backwards, right? We're going to uh, dig ourselves a hole. And that's why we do what we need to do because it's, because it always moves us along. Like my walk at the nighttime, right? It's not what I want to do, but I know it's what I know I have to do to have that foundation so that I am always my best version of myself. And that is what it takes to thrive here in this human experience. Now, another way, nature. Again, one of the big reasons why I even go for my walk is because it's in nature. And being grounded and being balanced is everything. Because when we are grounded and we, and we connect with the elements, right? You know, uh, trees for oxygen, water, mountains, whatever you can get your whatever you can get your energy hands on. You know what I mean? Take it because it will balance and it will ground you, and it will also cleanse your energy of the stimulation of the day. And as you are on your journey here, progressing and trying new things and opportunities flowing into your life, again, you are going to want to be in your best suit, right? You're going to want to have your, uh, you're going to want to have your, your wits about you for, for lack of better words. And if we are too stimulated and if we are not men mindfully focusing on being grounded, then we are going to be the reactors of our life. We're going to be reacting to situations and we don't want to be reacting because then we're not creating, right? We're just, our life comes in front of us and uh, unfolds in front of us. And we feel like we have no control. And then when we feel like we have no control, we try to control things in our outside experience to make us happy. But this just makes us feel even worse and worse and worse because we realize we have no control, but we actually do have control. We just have to, we have to, we have to access that control before it happens into our life. Like we can't witness our life and, and, and let it take us down. We got to make sure that we're taking charge of our life beforehand, right? Like if I wasn't going for my walks and if I wasn't keeping up with my spiritual practices, and if I wasn't doing the things I needed to do to be my best self, I would feel like I have no control. But the fact that I'm taking control over the things that I do have control over when a situation happens in my life that might seem out of left field, I know that I was, it's on, I know that it is in alignment with my purpose and I'm meant to learn lessons from it because I'm taking control over everything I need to do. Does that make sense? But if I wasn't, I would feel like something's wrong. Like, oh my goodness, what's going on? Because I hadn't been doing taking control of the responsibilities that I had, right? There are some days where I do not feel like exercising at all, but I do it every single day anyway, because I know it's what needs to get done, right? But most of the time, I don't care. I'm just trying to, you know, get, create, and, and I have other projects on the go that are more exciting and passionate for me. But at the same time, you know, I know that they have to get done. There's certain things we have to take care of. We just got to do it, like autopilot it, because it's part of the game, okay? And it's going to allow us to break through those filters because we're 
challenging ourselves, which is going to give us more awareness. And the awareness card popped up. So it's really about cancer living in the moment now, being more aware of your, of your today. And that's why, again, universe is saying, you know, ground yourself as well. Cause again, when we're grounded and we're not stimulated, then we are more in the awareness of the now, right? We're more conscious of our thoughts and we're able to see the guidance and the signs that the universe is providing for us. Cause the universe is always speaking to us. But if we're overthinking things, it means we're speaking and we're not listening. We want to learn to listen. How we listen is by being balanced and grounded. And that comes from movement, nature, right? Being aware of the present and just having that sense of self for when things do get going pretty fast. All right, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Cancer. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.